Hi Shoebox friends, welcome back. This is Denise from D. Rogers. Today I am unboxing for a boy 10 to 14. Thank you for tuning into my channel. The reason the box is open is because I already filmed this once and I forgot my microphone. So I didn't have the patience to get it all back in there again, so we're going to unbox it again. This age group is really important. Um, you'll probably see that most of my 10 to 14s do look similar, but many people struggle with this age group of coming up with ideas, so I do think it's important to show these unboxings. I typically don't always do a theme for the older boys, um, but it is the second category besides toddlers that we are low on boxes for. And a shoebox for 10 to 14 can really impact a young man's life. So I encourage you to try packing for 10 to 14s as well. So when he opens his box, he will see it says, pray to Jesus. And it just has some Valentine, football Valentines on there. And right on top, he has a Connex kit that I got from Walgreens after Christmas sale. And he can make different transportation vehicles, 10 different vehicles from this set. My son loved Connects when he was young. So I hope that he will as well. It was, it saved up a lot of space by removing this from the box and repackaging it because the box was quite large. He has an emergency poncho. I got these from Walmart. I think they were like 60 cents or something like that. He has a soap box from the Dollar Tree. And inside he has some Band-Aids. And he has two little critters that I tucked in here, a hippopotamus and an elephant. So you can see those. And a pair of nail clippers. All right. He has, I guess it's a baboon, Beanie Baby. And his poem is really cute. Of course, I've already read it in my first unboxing. Don't confuse me with an ape. I have a most unusual shape. My cheeks are round and tie-dyed red on my behind as well as my head. <laughs> I thought that was adorable. Okay, so that's his stuffy. He has a ball of twine and I recently saw somebody on one of our websites, Facebook websites, create a list of um, knot tying with ropes. So I might include that. He has a set of dominoes and a little bag that I got from Oriental Trading. And I think I got the dominoes from Oriental Trading also. Only I, I didn't like the packaging, so I chose to put it in a string tied bag. He has a face mask, like a football. That was from Walmart. He has a calculator from the Dollar Tree. He has a carabiner, a large carabiner. Don't remember where I got it from, but boys can use these for lots of things. And he has a small carabiner that is a tape measure, and I get these from Harbor Freight. And they have centimeters and inches on them. He has a toothbrush. He has a set of colored pencils, Crazy Art from Walmart. Those are 50 cents right now. He has an Old Navy bouncy ball. I get those in the bubblegum machines at Old Navy for 25 cents. He has a pair of underwear. He has a protractor for school. A set of playing cards, and I included a rubber band for him to keep them together. He has a tiny notebook. You can get these like three or four in a pack at Walgreens or Dollar Tree. I think Walmart has them too. And inside I stuck a little stencil, a little Hot Wheels stencil. He has a green Sharpie. Sharpies are great to put in boys' boxes. They can label things. He has a yellow highlighter. He has a cross, a wooden cross from an organization called Cross the World. He has a um, pump flashlight. I got these at the Dollar Tree after Christmas. So it doesn't rely on batteries. He just pumps it 
and it carries like a charge. So those are good to include in boys' boxes. He has two Hot Wheels, a gray one and a blue one. He has instructions on how to use his dominoes or how to play dominoes. I got that on blessingsinashoebox.com and it comes in many different languages. He has a fidget spinner, an orange fidget spinner. He has a nice sketch pad. This is from Target and you can see Target has a new branding now. It's called Mondo Llama. And I really like these because they have boys on the front and the one at the Dollar Tree has a girl on the front. So I really like this. It's pretty thick. So um, when you include that in your box, it's, it's almost like your, one of your wow items. He has some dice to play with. He has a little um, shark parachute trooper. Lots of fun pencil caps and erasers, a little fish with big eyes and a little googly blue guy, a little football and a soccer ball. He has a bandana I got from Walmart for 10 cents and they come in red, it's red, green and white, kind of like OCC colors. He has a spoon. I found this in the um, camping department. These were on clearance recently. I want to say they were like 35 cents or something very inexpensive. He has a airplane glider. You get those on Amazon. He has a nice pencil pouch filled with pencils, pens. He has red, blue, and black pens and some extra, a marker two big erasers, three sharpeners, and a little monster puppet in there. So a nice set of school supplies for him. He has a very nice quality pair of socks, Puma brand. He has a nice soft gray washcloth. That's from Amazon. He has a cross that I made from Joanne Fabrics, I get the little crosses. And then I put them on this little string here. Little sponge bottle lenticular from Valentine's Day. He has a shirt in here from Walmart. This is one of those soft, dry fast shirts and they pack really easy because they scrunch up really well. This is a football player. I got this at Walmart for $2 and it's a size 14, 16. He has a composition book. This is from Walmart and it is college ruled 80 sheets. And an I draw prehistoric book. I got these, I got this from the Dollar Tree. And this is all the creatures you can learn to draw. I really like these books for the older kids and he can use a sketch pad for that. He has a comb. He has another little Valentine. Um, let's see, I think there were directions in here too. Yeah, these, these were little Valentines. They have like a little stick on the back and they can color the picture with the stick. And I included the instructions. And then he also had these Valentines that are kind of, kind of like Where's Waldo. I just included like a whole sheet. I thought those were pretty cool and some Connect Four Valentines as well. Okay, and on the bottom he has his book bag. This is a really nice quality book bag from IKEA. I got these for $2.99 and I really like the quality of this and I think this will be perfect for school for him. And then I have a postcard from the state of Maryland where I live with my note on the back and our family photo. So that completes my box for a boy 10 to 14. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it will encourage you to pack some 10 to 14 boxes. Sometimes they are hard to come up with good ideas. I hope this gave you an idea or two. Um, so please like, share, comment, uh, be sure to subscribe 
and uh, hit that notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes out. So thanks again for coming back and watching. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next unboxing. Bye-bye.